Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? It is Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today I am answering a well overdue tutorial question. And I mean, when I say well, I mean literally a million of you guys have asked me how to do this. So today I needed to post a tutorial to help you guys out. So uh, the question is in my video for simple lightning effects, how in God's name do I stop the lightning? On the effects so today lucky you I will show you sorry for the uh, semi poor quality of this video as I am on my Windows PC right now not on the Mac so the first thing obviously you need to do as you need to do in every other tutorial I do is you need to import your footage I'm just gonna be using some green screen footage of me so I'll drag it down into my uh, composition you're gonna need to make a new composition which if you drag it down that's fine you'll see your video pop up in the uh, preview window here which is what you want now once your cursor is where uh, at the beginning I'm just gonna use the beginning for example uh, so everything is set my cursor is at the beginning my footage is in we're good to go now like in the simple lightning tutorial I'm just gonna make some lightning now we're gonna go to a spot uh, 10 seconds in looks like a dandy place to do it uh, then go up to edit and go down to split layer which is control shift D exactly the same as our simple lightning tutorial after you've split the layer and you have your cursor where you want the lightning to start you want to go up to effect generate and then go down to lightning and as you see on your screen a little blue lightning bolt will uh, appear and that's what you want so now once I've got this done how in God's name, as I said before, do I stop the lightning? Well, now you need to move your cursor to wherever you want the lightning to stop. I'll move it to, uh, let's say, 30 seconds here. Now what I want to do is I want to click the layer in which it has the effect on it. So the layer which has the effect on it will have FX. It'll be a box with FX in it. And whatever layer that is, I want you to highlight that layer. Then you need to go up to Edit and go down to split layer again which is control shift D alright so now you should have three layers down here two with the FX in the boxes and one without an FX because that's your beginning strip now now that you have all three layers here if you play on there's still a lightning bolt but if you go to the layer which plays the rest of your video so in my case it's the very top layer and unclick the FX in the box the lightning will disappear. So for instance, it's going to be a very slow frame rate, but I will just drag it along here, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I had a not response, and then we're going... Okay, anyways, back to the tutorial. But uh, we're going to keep it going, keep it going, and then all of a sudden, lightning disappear. So that is how you get rid of the lightning. You make three layers, and you unclick the FX in the top layer. So again, you split the first layer, you add the lightning, you uh, put your cursor to where you want the lightning to stop, you split the light, you split the layer with the effect on it, which is the lightning effect, and then you unclick the effect in that box, and voila, presto, you do not have any more lightning for the rest of your video. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this tutorial. I am so sorry it took so long to get this out on the web, but uh, I can't. I don't really have an excuse. I was going to say I'm busy, but uh, obviously I wasn't so busy that I couldn't make one tutorial. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Visit the website over at LukeDemarco.com, and we will see you next time.